Is that right? Doesn't sound too bad. Blank piece, huh? So you got left Franks on your belt now. How much have you learned about your quarterbacks? Especially since the last time we talked, you just haven't been able to see them before. Yeah, uh, no, they're doing good. Um, take care of the ball better, which is, you know, what I thought we had. were lo loose with the ball earlier quarterbacks. So today we had an interception in the red zone. We're getting more work in the red zone, which will help us. Uh, tight windows and third downs and things like that. So, but uh, Casey's done well, Logan's done, Chubb has worked a little bit more, so that's good to see him. Young guys are coming, so um, a bunch of really good kids that, that like the game and fun to be around. With the way that Chubb has been limited so far, like, what can you really get out of this spring? Well, no, he's had a bunch of, he's had last week a bunch of skelly reps, seven on seven. Then today he got some team reps. And, um, you know, he's getting a lot of mental reps, so it's better better that way functioning. So he's been fine. What's that? How important is it to keep that competition going for a back and show in there? Well, I, I think it's one thing, but I, the way – yeah, everybody's competing, but I think they're really – they're helping one another out. It's a good room. That's important. You know, they're helping one another out. You miss something talking about it. There's guys that are talking a lot in the, in the meetings and on the field, so – you know, there's not anybody out. Oh, there's not there's an, not any animosity in, in the group. So they're all trying to get better at different levels and trying to build a library for each of them so that we come back, I can go over with it, you know, before we get to summer. But they'll study their own, all their plays that they've had. Hey, uh, we're talking about the tight ends today. How would you describe your offense for, you know, for a tight end? Like, what, it, what do you like to use those guys to do? How do you like to utilize them? Well, we got some good guys. You know, Travis has in practice. He's done stuff on air. But, you know, when I was at UMass and, and we had Adam Brenneman who transferred from Penn State, I think he led the country at 146 catches in two years. And last year, Lucas Krull was healthy. We lost like three tight ends the year before, so we had to go a lot more four wide. But I think he had 50 catches and the young kid, Gavin Bartholomew, maybe had 25. So, but we, we have capable guys there. And, and the younger guys are really getting better understanding the scheme. So I don't have a number. You know, the, the ball's predicated, goes to, you know, what the defense is giving you. Certainly we can get guys in certain areas. I think the size of those guys can help you in the red zone. That, that would be a place where, you know, we're 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", down there where the windows are tighter and you've got to be physical and catching the ball. And the speed's not as important as is, you know, learning, you know, uh, you know about leverage on the defenders and those things. So we, we had sessions Monday. We did a little bit more today. We'll do a little bit more Friday in the red zone. But I see those guys being somewhat of a factor down there. What makes it, maybe this is an obvious question, but what makes a new red zone offense an effective one that actually scores touchdowns? You know, it's always you can run the ball because, uh, you know, they've got, an extra, they've got an extra guy with the end line in the red zone that, you know, where the safeties are tight and you can't because you, unless you're running some option, would, uh, you know, the safety is going to be unaccounted for, the quarterback. Now, when you run option, that becomes a little bit some 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 things with a quarterback. But, um, you know, it's, it's just a mix, mix that way. But I think our backs, I think, have gotten better. I, we're a little more physical than we've done. Coach, Coach early in the year, the – Coach Applewhite's done a really good job with those guys with pad level. All of them are running a little bit lower, a little bit more balance, and playing for the extra yard. And, and uh, we did have a fumble in the scrimmage last week, but uh, it's really the, the only one we've had, I think, in in, uh, in uh, a lot of a lot of you know tough sessions in there where it's been it's, there's thud, there's tough thud, there's live. So um, I think we've done a good job securing the ball with those guys. Is it, is it frustrating? Not as not as frustrating as if we didn't have those guys, you know. They're going to be back. We know they're good players. So, to me, it's a positive. We just try to be positive with it. We're building depth, you know. And uh, so the more guys that we have, we're, you know we're going to get guys hurt, and we're trying to say this. I think the one positive about Nebraska is uh, we're running two thuds. We're running two skellies. We have enough players here. We have enough with the walk-ons and those guys. 
that a lot of guys are getting reps, so so they're getting better, and, and that builds your depth. We didn't have that at places I've been, certainly UMass, Pitt, even, you know, that way. We didn't have that at Miami. We didn't have we didn't have enough guys when I was there. So that's really helping. I told those guys, I said, just you're really lucky to be here. And with a chance to get on film and get better. So I think our depth has grown and we know we'll get those guys back come the summer. Hey Mark, in particular at tight end, how has that in particular at tight end, how has the absence of some of you mentioned Travis, but how has the absence of some of the other guys impacted what you've been able to install No, I mean it's the same but those guys are getting reps, so as I said, you know, the younger guys are, they move up, the next guy's got to be ready, so we're not really game, I'm not game planning, we're just trying to install a bunch of plays and things that way, then we build a library, similar to what we've done in the NFL, so that those guys can go back, and when those, when they're throwing on their own, they know what this term means, what this concept, so we're giving them a lot, a lot of different concepts, and, and we'll continue to do that on Friday and, and next week on, on on Monday. What's the, what's the, for the quarterbacks, what's the importance of that like, Saturday the spring game and the stadium the fans? Is it another, another practice, less important, more important? How, how do you see that? Yeah, I don't, I don't. The way spring games have gone now, you know, you want to get out of it. In my mind, we want to get out of it healthy. It's like, is that going to make the difference? I don't. It does on some guys. I think it's more for the younger guys that haven't got as many reps. I don't really know how we're going to do the spring game. We haven't even talked about it. But uh, it's not, I mean, you know, it's not, I don't see it. Casey Thompson's played in, against Oklahoma. He's played against those, you know, some of the young guys maybe. But just not like it used to be in the old days where you were 15 full pad days. And that was, I mean, you pretty much know. Now, there's some guys that can make, make, make headway there that they play well. And some guys they play really bad, but you know there's a bunch of tape that we've had, so I, I, I don't I said I don't know how we go, we're going about it. So I'm really worried about cleaning up today's practice and getting ready for Friday. As you've got to know Logan some others, uh, what, what, what does he do well, and where would you like to see him make strides? He's a good athlete, and, and I think he's done a really good job of handling the offense. I think in the fundamentals of work, getting him deeper in his drops. We talked about it, he's working on that. His progressions have been better, like a new new thing deal that way. Um, he's smart. Like today, he, he threw a, he threw an interception, and right away, you know, I got to throw it here. So, so when you when you make a mistake, and then you don't know why you made a mistake, that's what concerns you. But he knows that way, and he's done a good job in the scrimmage scrimmages that we've had. He's gotten a lot of reps, and uh, I've been pleased with him. He's done a good job. Obviously, uh, your wide receivers group come along. Obviously, Xavier, Xavier's a partner with those other guys. No, they've done a really good job. I think we got a good leadership. Some of the older guys and um, Alante, we, we moved him, and we, we've taken some of the guys to move in a different position, so that gives you more depth. Also, so Alante's able to play two positions. Trey has been inside, but we'll let him play some outside stuff as we go. Oliver's done a good job. Omar's done a good job. All those younger guys, we've gone to some four wide packages. And that's given some guys some, some new opportunities, you know, and just uh, those guys have run run a lot. And, they, and uh, early on, there were some little things that way, but I, I, I really like where we're going. We've got, we've got a deep room there, and, um, you know, they're getting better every day. Which receivers do you feel like are the kind of the take-the-top-off guys? Do you have a sense of who those might be? Yeah, I mean, Trey's, fat, Trey's the fastest guy, and Omar, and it will has done good things. Oliver's done some good things. They, they, uh, Alante, they, they've all done those guys I mentioned. So we'll move them around, which have always done that way. I think they've, that, we've gone a little bit more of a pro system, meaning that we've instead of keeping guys on the same side, we're moving them left and right, and we're moving them that way. And uh, I think they've done a good job of learning concepts, and then learning how we get the plays in that way. So that's, that's been a smoother transition for those receivers than it was like the first week or everybody's kind of worried about it. It's, it's gone without any issues in the two scrimmages. Matter of fact, the, the second scrimmage was much more just a little cleaner and everything else, and I expect the same thing when we get into camp will be the same way. Mark, a couple weeks into this thing, what's the best thing you've seen? What's the worst thing you've seen? 
I, I don't think there's anything really bad besides some guys getting hurt. That's all. That's the one. That's the worst part about the game. You don't want to see anybody get hurt. You got to play physical and tough. And the best thing is, is these kids are fun. They come to work every day. They fought through Monday was a tough day. And you kind of, when you look at the schedule, you say, hey, you had a scrimmage, and then you had, we had a practice on Thursday. We scrimmaged, and we went, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Got to come right back on Monday, six six days and seven with full pads. But I thought they did a really good job that way. But they're fun to be around. Um, you know, we had a walkthrough in here, which was something new that they before the scrimmage. I thought there was a there was a air of confidence, but a business like attitude, which is what you want. You don't want them all being uptight. So I, I you know, that way. Um, and, and we've had good battles with the defense. I, I what I've always learned in, in spring practice that <clears throat> if one side is dominating the other, you probably don't have a good team. But I, I believe we have a good team because. Defense has made plays, offense has bounced back, handled adversity, so it's a fun group to be around. Mark, for you, do you feel like the teaching has slowed down a little bit at this point in the spring? No, nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Um, you know, we got more things to, to give them. We'd like to at least get it on tape so that they say, okay, this is what it is. So we had about four or five new things. It'll be, you know, probably same thing on, on for Friday and then a few more on, on Monday when we come back, so. Said I think it's just important for those guys. You'd like to get two days of those things because they see it, and then they, they, they run it, and they rep it, and then they see it on tape, and then they can fix it. They said, like Alante, we've, we've moved positions for him, and his first day was a little, wasn't rough, but not as clean. Today I get to see it snapped through, so that's what building depth is what we're trying to do. Hey, you added your, uh, your son to quality control operation, what Scott did. For that, to have yeah, he's in, he was in that role at Pittsburgh, so he knows the offense. He's been really a – and he played quarterback in a system at, at UMass and played under Billy O'Brien at Penn State. So we have eight quarterbacks now. I don't – so he does a really good job of handling the other things. He knows the progressions. He knows the footwork, all those things. It, it's a good buffer. Sometimes I can be a – I can be uncomfortable where he's, he's a good – you know, he'll grab the guy on the side if I get after somebody. And uh, so, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's a good thing that way. He knows things. And, and uh, so it's been, been nice for for the quarterbacks and nice for me. Huh? Yeah, we had seven. It did the same. We had seven at Pitt. You like that? I mean, you like having all those guys? Well, you try to get them reps, but they don't get as many. But there's more mental reps. So you got somebody with a sheet on a sideline, and here's what he should be doing in that way. And I said we have a really good room. They're all really good kids. They got some talent, and they're having fun, and that's what's important. Look, well, Beckton, Beckton said over there, Sean said the running game has been one thing that's been consistent all the spring. How would you characterize it? What, what, from your vantage point, what have you seen? Well, I think Donnie and Beck and Aaron, are the, the assistant to Donnie, is they've done a really good job. Instilling confidence in those guys up front that uh, that, that we're going to run the ball, that we always I always want to be balanced. Might not be yards wise, but plays and everything else, and they one one fits uh, one fits off the other. So I think those guys have done a really good job, and and uh, I lean on those guys for what they like, and then obviously Coach Frost brings a, brings a lot to the table that way. So we mix it. I think that. That marriage has gone really well. I think it's a lot of good things. There, there were a lot of concepts, and uh, and those guys, I could just see their confidence growing. I think that's a tribute to the, to, to uh, Donnie and Aaron. And okay. back. Thank you. Good. All right. Thanks. Great to see you guys. Thanks, yeah.